Hi Scorpio, welcome to this Tower Love reading. Welcome to this community. My name's Sophia. So Scorpio, what I was getting was fear of the dragon, and fear of the unknown. So when it comes to a dragon, um, it's obviously a mythical creature and dragon uh, spit fire out, you know, the, the flame from the mouth. So what I'm getting it from this is that you, this could be your person, but this is the kind of energy that's out there at the moment, Scorpio. It doesn't matter if you're Scorpio, your person's Scorpio, this is the energy of Scorpio. But what I'm feeling is someone mouthing off, right? Gossip is what I'm getting as well. So this could be literally you... Um, or your person, Scorpio, fearing to do something, either take a leap of faith and jump into the unknown. For example, your person might want to come towards you, you know, properly, let's just say, and fearing the batcher. Or there could be a reflection with you because they normally mirror something. You're scared to say something to someone in case of this batcher, right? There's something about someone arguing or... Um, shouting but like I said dragons are mythical so it's like for some of you it might not happen that way for example with your person Scorpio they might be over there in a situation for a religion tradition of well I stay over here with Sarah Jane because my family um, think that that this person is best for me so sticking to that tradition of following family's wishes and don't want to leave in case the family cuss him or her off. But because it's a mythical, I'm like, that ain't really true. So you, it's no point you say, no, they won't cuss you off or anything like that. I'm saying there might be a mirror here. What I'm getting with this reading is, is there a boss you want to say, you know, listen, stop putting me in for overtime. I don't want to do it. Is there someone who's bossing you around at work? Is there someone who's on your case that you just want to say, look, fuck off and just cut the ties? What, what, what is this mirroring to you, Scorpio? So let's jump in. Uh, if you're new, welcome to these communities. I say these because I have three. I've just created a Facebook which I do uh, free extended readings, energy, planetary shift readings. I just done, yesterday I done a full moon reading and um, I done a mini what your guides reading is. There's a discussion, you know, if you want more of a tight knit community, it's free in the, in, in the description box. It's free to join and, you know, it's a private group where, you know, we can talk more openly YouTube's too exposed, too large, you know, you can't really get into the nitty gritties. And, you know, I like this kind of idea of like-minded people being together. So let's jump in. Scan on with Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Yeah, this is the dragon fire, right? See it there? That's what I've got it. That's the base, right? So this is the overall. So this is, um, this needs to crumble because this is a tower card. This is what the overall of this energy is for this reading now. So this means that, for example, you've got a mother who does that. You, Whoever it is who does that, that needs to crumble. You can't let someone manipulate and control you. And this could be a mirror of you thinking, well, my person's family control then it's not me who controls you they always mirror something to you what you need to release yourself scorpio so let's jump in the lovers the sun wow right and the knight of wands so so far what i'm getting from this the lovers lovers is a choice in love and uh, the choice is obvious but most people on planet Earth don't make this choice going towards your happiness, right? So your person could be someone who is an opposite to you. 
you could be saying like, well, I want to settle down, I want to have kids, I want to get the house, the car, whatever. But your person is, next to the sun, is Knight of Wands. So Knight of Wands is someone who's inconsistent, you know, fast in, but then fast out. Or comes for a bit, then goes. Or a player, something like that. So this might be that dragon saying, well, what are you doing with this person? They're messing you about, they're in and out your life, blah, blah, blah. But reality, you're, this person, this is about judgment. This is why you are here as a light worker, twin flame, star suit, whatever label you want to call it. Whatever your person does generally mirrors to you of a judgment as well that you are holding on to. And this could be anything. For example... If there's love, which this happiness card is, the, the sun card is the most happiest, the best card in the deck, right? And so your person gives you this complete happiness, bliss and everything like that. But he's in and out. So which one with these polarities, the black, the white of the lovers card is the more positive? Focusing on the love or focusing on the in and out. Now, why I said this is to do with judgment, because generally because this planet's frequency is love everybody wants love that's why there's so many divorces because once you're with someone love can fade because there's an expectation from television right if you love yourself then you tr attract someone else who loves themselves and you have a divine connection so once you love yourself then it is divinely so they come towards you because you love yourself. So your connection, who I'm speaking to, is different than the average soulmate, right? So because yours is to show people, like spiritual people, how to love. Because they're always talking about self-love, but they really don't know how to do it. And your person is to show the 3D. That's why they're not really a, so much spiritual. But this is about... You love someone, but you are judging that person on their actions. This is very important. This is about judgment. And I get judged all the time because I don't say love and light, because I don't say, oh, I've put this crystal on my third eye, because I say this is bollocks and it doesn't do anything, because I say that walking barefoot in nature, stretching out your toes, wearing Jesus sandals is fuckeries, right? I get judged. But realistically... Truth is truth. I'm enlightening you to what you know. Because if that was the truth, why is planet Earth so corrupt? Because everyone would just simply buy a crystal or walk in their garden with their Jesus sandals and everything will be happy days. Right? This connection teaches you not to judge. Even the basis of judgment. That's what this is about. So it's showing you what is love. Make a fucking choice. What is your love? Because this is the frequency. This is your happiness. And if not, right, you're going down the 3D way of, no, I want my person to come towards me on a Saturday night. No, I want him to come meet my friends and family. No, I want him or him or her, right, to buy me presents on Valentine's Day and be there for my birthday and for Christmas and New Year's and all this kind of 3D stuff. But, like, isn't when your person shows up, isn't that Valentine's birthday, Christmas, every day, isn't it, like, amazing? And don't you feel aligned as one, because they are you. That is what love is. I compare Twin Flame Lightworkers' divine connection, as I always talk about Hollywood superstars. Because if Robert De Niro got offered a, a, a film... And his birthday was next month and he had to go six months away on a set. Do you think he'll be like, oh, listen, Mr. Um, whatever director name, right? Clint Eastwood. I know he's a director, of course, right? I, I can't go. It's my birthday next month. Or can't, I can't do this Hollywood buster film, which I know it's going to be because I read the script, because it's my wife or my kid's birthday next month. This is about following your happiness, Right. And then he will attract someone into his reality, Robert De Niro, for example, who loves themselves. So they're like, well, of course, you follow your love. Acting is your love. And I'll follow my love. My love is staying at home, baking cakes, looking after the kids, for example. 
that's where love stays when you follow your love not have an expectation from someone else so this is a choice out of our expectation which creates heartbreak scorpio right or do you want to go for your happiness right this player in and out right changes generally right i said this is to do with judgment most relationships want love because this planet's frequency is love like i said that's why there's so much divorce because when they divorce they're like well you'll naturally breathe in the air right breathe in air which is energy and this breathe the every breath you take is a love frequency that's why we're always from relationship to relationship to and then you get married you get divorced it's not wrong with bloody divorce right you fall out of love you fall out of love that's it right it's a piece of paper and a bloody ring right but like i said it doesn't happen when you love yourself when you search for things outside of you which is uh, insanity because outside of you isn't real this physical world isn't real right that's why you should love inside two worlds inner outer then this would people don't wake up say your person's in and out your life night of ones do you think let's call him sid do you think sid gets up and let's call you jane i'm gonna get up and fuck fuck off jane because I'm going to go around there, shag her, and then go home. And then I'm going to get a real buzz out of that. Do you think that's what he does? No. Don't you think he is reacting from a reaction of maybe aban abandonment or something like that, which is why he's in and out? Or maybe he's in and out, right, because of he's insecure himself, so I'm not going to settle with Jane because Jane is my love right and i've been hurt in the past so i'm going to go in as soon as i start feeling like i'm getting too connected to her i'm coming out stop judging the experience this is what this is about you choose this frequency is of love right that's it how do you feel emotions and how do you think your person feels regardless of how they act like i said how is it that a hollywood i'll give another example which pisses me off but they, you know this is why i'm a a, a, a twin flame uh in court my well, you know a few years ago my my ex-husband tried to take my daughter which he succeeded but you know i have her for life she's only 14 bloody yet you know i've got years to meet her and he said, I didn't see her all the time. Well, I don't because we roll with her, so I have her like weekends. So the court was like, well, yeah, you know, you're a woman. You should be the one having the child and all this stupidness, or, you know, very old school. But, you know, it was intended. If I did had my daughter, I wouldn't create this uh, communities. Uh, three. Here's my point, right? I was like, well, if I'm like uh, Robert De Niro, he fucks off six months out of the year to make a film what does he have no custody of his kids who he's divorced or separated from that's judgment that's why i hate law not mat not la natural law man-made bullshit law because there's a book with set of rules which they place on everybody but i said i needed to keep my businesses running to feed my daughter over there they didn't care but if I was a famous superstar, right, and say, but I've got to go, uh, uh, you know, six months on set to make this Hollywood bot blasting film, they might have tap patted me on the back. This is teaching everyone about judgment. So you are judging your person from something that you don't know why he comes in and out. And it's not for you to say, why do you do that? It's not for you to do that. It's what this in and out uh, frequency of your person is uh dies because most twin flame goes up goes through this this in and out energy when you stop worrying about it so this foundation of you like attracts like of someone cussing you out for having someone like that this person who cussed you out is probably inconsistent and in and out your life who's this person big mouth who's that 
right? But is it to judge this person? No, because why does she or he who's cussing you feel they have to cuss to get an opinion across? You see, this is all about judgment. This is part of your twin flame contract. This is about you collaborating with people who know about why you are here. The Sun, Six of Cups. This is a gift. Now, I'm also feeling you want your person to come back, apologize for the Three of, uh, three of um, Swords, collaborate with you and give you a gift, right? This is probably what this person is telling you. But this isn't that. This is about stopping 3D. Spiritual life, you are galactic, the sun here, right, is the heart chakra, Anahata is green. This, while well, my card is red, because most people follow the television version of, oh, your person, if he upsets you, he apologizes, put petals on the bed, bended me, flowers in his mouth, and I'm really sorry, and rings up your mum, Sarah Jane, I fucked up, can you get me back with the... Uh, um, and Sarah Jane and all this, it's like, no, that's television. Realistically, man isn't built like that. We are the emotions. So you watch too much television and you're pulled into the 3D, which is creating heartbreak. When you breathe in this air frequency of love and you have someone who loves you, but you want to change that to the television heartbreak. This is your six, six of cups. This is your twin flame journey to stop focusing on what your person is doing just focus on that feeling he gives you what she gives you that's how you collaborate with your person and be wise when you do it you see oh, listen to a wise this is my me <laughs> a wise teacher teaching you and teaching your children how to love themselves themselves you know, oh, I love you, I love you, and then you would expect your children to say it back who has an expectation of love from someone else. You say to your child, I love myself, you must learn to do the same. Then they will attract everything loving because love is from within. This is you looking outside with your eyeballs for love. Hence he has, look, he's even mirroring to you with the mask around his eyes, right? Stop looking at what I come in with. I am your happiness, right? So if you want to learn how to do that or join the Facebook group, please go to the website, go to the links below, check out the description box, and I'll speak to you later.